Hello everyone, today's video is about uh, some motivation example how to build the OpenCV C++ program which is using GStreamer to produce the Hellas uh, video live stream and you can uh, basically expose this live stream by some uh, server and play on a website let's have a look on motivation example and I will introduce uh, later the problems I'm facing during the development of such application which uh, can help you but uh, this uh, is definitely for much than one tutorial because it's including uh, you know the setup uh, and install OpenCV with uh, GStreamer on Windows it's uh, include the setup of engine server it's include uh, write some simple web uh, web uh, player and so on. Here is uh, running the people detector, it's a YOLO neural network, a really simple one and uh, I'm using this uh, this GSStream pipeline and uh, this is basically creating segments, 15 second segments of video and uh, I'm using H264 encoding and uh, this MPEG TS mux, uh, 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 muxing of the video and produce basically these uh, segments and uh, the playlist. Playlist uh, using as a root uh, the root basically address uh, where my engines uh, serve this. Uh, playlist and uh, the segments. Okay, I have uh, first uh, segments uh, ready, the second uh, segments is right now filled by the video and playlist is just a reference uh, on uh, this uh, basically address of the server you can reach and take this segments and that the second segment and uh, play the video on the website. I have a refresh here the screen, okay, I will hit the play, it's very simple player, but uh, it will basically take uh, the video which is the produced uh, from the C++ application and play on the web. I have three segments right now, that means I have uh, 30 seconds of video, each segment is 15 15 uh, seconds per video and this playlist is just a reference and uh, right now it's uh, just loading it's uh, running really uh, it, there is some delay of course it's uh, streaming with some delay because uh, you have to you have to serve this uh, uh, TS segments uh, and uh, and load it here on a web and uh, let's go to yeah and uh, now the streaming is continue with the uh, maybe second segment and uh, let's go through some parts and some problems the first problem here is uh, you have to download uh, the GS streamer you know for Visual Studio 64 bits and do you want to use uh, Visual Studio 2000 19 uh, because it's best and I'm using the community one and it's for free. You have to download runtime and development installer both. The great advice is uh, once you are installing GSStreamer and this is critical once you are installing GSStreamer you have to choose in both runtime and development installer the full option install everything not just recommended installation install everything because if you install the recommended one you will not able to use uh, H264 encoding you will not be able to use the MPEG TS mux uh, it will basically return you the information uh, you are missing this kind of plugins install everything that's the first recommendation. The second recommendation, you have to set up your GS streamer uh, once you are compiling uh, the OpenCV from source. 
you have to take uh, you know the chit repository or uh, for uh, or any release of uh, of OpenCV. This is basically OpenCV 4.4, which we are looking uh, at here, and uh, it's compiled with contribution modules. That means that there is extra path, extra path, and uh, there is set up the GS uh, GS streamer. GS streamer is uh, installed, and you have to set up these locations uh, correctly, because uh, if you don't have this set up correctly, you will reach many problems, mainly during the linking of uh, your OpenCV OpenCV distribution. And uh, just one hint: whenever there is library, you will specify the lib dot lib file and when there is up it's gst it's reference to gst up uh, and uh, followed by version here there is base and uh, library you will set up gst base dot lib whenever is include directory it's just pointing to directory this one is pointing to glib include directory and uh, this one is pointing to include gs streamer and maybe there is one more somewhere, I don't know, but whenever it's uh, pointing to directory, point to the directory, whenever it's specify lib library, you have to end by dot lib. And uh, this is the name what uh, uh, you should use. And uh, you know this process, uh, you will hit several configure, generate the Visual Studio project and open this project and build this project in Visual Studio and uh, after you will build everything install everything uh, you have uh, everything ready uh, there's much more thing you will set up uh, your normal open CV project nothing uh, nothing special uh, it's a usual one but uh, what you have to do, and it's necessary, it's to set up your environmental variables. And uh, to do so, you have to go to the system. I might check screen, sorry about this, but uh, I think it's pretty obvious because we need to find a way how to, in Windows, set up buff variable, which is somewhere down here in the buff, and in the buff, uh, you have to set up several things for as uh, uh, you know usually you have to set up the location of the your open cv dlls which are built 4.4 install x64 and this is visual studio version and bin but in advance you have to set up this directory for gs streamer which uh, pointing to bin library and gs streamer uh, and uh, follow by version. You have to set up this uh, to be able to reach the runtime GStream environment during the execution of your OpenCV program. Okay. Small recap. Uh, recap. You have to build your OpenCV with GStreamer. This is the first. You have to set up all the GStream path in CMake correctly. You have to set up your runtime environment uh, and this path in your path uh, setting here for a system and uh, once you have everything prepared you know you <laughs> additionally you have to configure your engine server or whatever server to serve you your index where the definition of uh, your video player is located and uh, and as well path where you can reach this uh, DS segments and uh, DS segments and uh, the, the as well the playlist you know and uh, run engine server and once you are running engine server, you know, uh, right now there is nothing, but uh, I'm using a visual subsystem for Linux 
and I can reach this file generated on on Windows location. Let's uh, let's try again the example. Right now, my application is uh, is uh, not available because there is no media, and basically the Gen engine is serving this direct content of this directory through the IP address uh, on VSL2. Uh, visual subsystem uh, Linux 2 and uh, and uh, I will play this one more time yeah and if you have everything set up everything set up correctly you have to as well build uh, your uh, GS stream pipeline correctly which is as well something uh, what will take uh, some time to do Okay, video is running. Uh, I can see in my whole so that there is one segment which is right now empty. I can see as well this through the Ubuntu uh, Unix and uh, this is, uh, this is uh, basically a website served by Nginx and I have to wait uh, until the second uh, segment is uh, created and my playlist is available and once I have the playlist I can reach this playlist through the video player and uh, this is a uh, concept of uh, hello string in uh, uh, simple C++ application and uh, video writer which is using GS Streamer. Let's uh, let's have a look if uh, if uh, we have second segment. Okay, we have second segment. Now we can reach this playlist, and this playlist will basically serve these segments one by one to us. And uh, we can see standard C output. We can see this output as well live on a website. You know there is some delay. Uh, you have to finish your processing and prepare your segment. You have to load it this segment, uh, and uh, and continue playing video on web. Yeah, right now I have three segments available and one playlist and uh, you can see the result here and here. Okay, thank you. This is motivation. This is really just motivation what you can expect and I will prepare a separate tutorial how to write a program, how to prepare the environment and uh, how to prepare the engine server to stream this application and uh, you know, I think it will be in three separate pieces in uh, much more details how to do this, how to do that. And uh, this is really just a motivation for you to subscribe and uh, to go to my blog. And uh, thank you for watching.